There goes the runner. Here comes the throw. And safe down at second base, third base side of the bag, and that allowed Cabrera to get in with his first steal. That is the last thing the White Sox were thinking that Cabrera would do. Contreras is already slow going to the plate. And you're not expecting Cabrera to try to steal a bag, so he pretty much caught them sleeping. Runner going. Here comes the throw. It bounces in, and Cabrera has stolen a base. They caught him off guard. How gutsy is that? That's why Jim is one of the best managers in the game. He knows that it's the last thing on Trey Hillman's mind that Cabrera is going to attempt to steal it. Using the Tigers' bullpen. Oh, they've got Cabrera picked off. The fake to third and the throw to first. Throw home. Save! Rayburn scores! Great hits. Cabrera is aboard at first base with one out. And the runner goes. And it misses inside. Double clutch throw to center. Cabrera not going anywhere, though. Really nice at bat in yesterday's game. One of his better at bats in a while. Runner goes and a big jump for Cabrera. The throw one hops. Not in time. Boy, Cabrera was off and running. Well, Jim Leland uh, gives the signs to uh, Cabrera. You know, Cabrera is not on his own. And you know that Romero not thinking about Cabrera at all. Therefore, he goes on first movement. And Chavez has no chance at throwing him out. Two outs. Runner going from first base and no throw. The ball popped out of the hand of Olivo, so it's a swipe for Miguel Cabrera. He got a stolen base a couple of days ago as well. At that time, Butler was playing behind him. They were pretty much giving him the stolen. Runner goes. The throw hops in and safe at second base is Cabrera. That's what happens when you forget about the base runner. Cabrera's already taken off a couple of times this year. For this very reason and this reason alone, Casimir forgets about him. He gets a huge jump, which means Napoli has no chance to throw him out. Now Hiroki set. There goes Cabrera. The pitch is low. Martin's throw is high. And that's that. It's a stolen base for Cabrera. Russell's throw really took off in the air. Carroll had to cover, tried to pull it down. But Cabrera steals his second base. Cabrera, as we mentioned, is not a base dealer, so he's always going on a hit and run play. series. It's now one for 14. There goes Cabrera, swinging a miss, the throw from Molina, not in time. A little bit more from the big guy than just a map. He picks up his third steal of the season. Either somebody missed a side or somebody missed a hit and run. Cabrera shug it into second base. Three stolen bases for Cabrera. Runner goes. And he went around. The Dirks is out of there. Cabrera gets to second. Two gone. Runner goes. Cabrera's on the move. Here comes the throw from Flowers. He caught him by a surprise. He's safe. A good heads up call by Jim Leland. Cabrera does not have the green light, therefore that came from Jim. He felt like Danks wouldn't throw over, and he didn't, and Cabrera gets a great jump off first base, and he's able to steal that bag. Go, big man, go. We started off the demise of John Danks tonight. Watch out. He gone. That was a Lance Johnson jump right there. Well, you got to look back at the base runners, and... Zach apparently so intent on Delman Young didn't bother to look out at Cabrera. So Cabrera's gone. Nothing for AJ to do. He was three steps away from third base when AJ caught the ball. There goes Cabrera. And the throw to Dozier not in time and Cabrera almost overslid the bag. Dozier claimed that he did. Larry Vanover said he's safe. But Cabrera got a great jump off of Larry Arnold. Steals his second base of the year in three attempts. Friends in a Tigers uniform so far this season. 
Then it goes, the pitch inside, and the throw is going to skip into center field, so Cabrera keeps on going. And he goes to third. The throw there is going to get away, but is backed up by Rich Hill. So Cabrera to third base with two outs now. Came out of Moeller High School. Offered football and baseball scholarships to Michigan. Three years there. Big Ten Player of the Year twice. And there's a steal of second base. But there have been no issues at all with that surgically repaired knee. There goes the runner to third. And there's nobody to cover. And Cabrera swipes one. He's a heads up base runner. And he knew that no one was paying attention to him. Not the third baseman. Not the shortstop. He just continued to look around. He continued to inch his way off third. And then he simply took off. And by the time Johnson uh, picks up that he's running, there's nothing that DeRosa could do. You can see him trying to get to the bag. Two and two. It just looks like he wants to run. And there he goes. And a swing and a miss. And he is down to second base safely with no throw. You knew sooner or later he was going to steal the base because Wright was just way too slow uh, with that leg kick. He picked the perfect pitch also to run on a really slow breaking ball. And that Molina made no play on uh, Miggy at second. It's up in a hurry. Runners go on the payoff pitch, swing and a miss. Oh, Santana dropped the ball. They'd have had a real good chance at a double play yeah. to end the inning. No question. Unbelievable. They send them. And Santana in the transfer just can't handle it. And Cabrera was a dead duck at third base. He's running. You know, he, he knew it was a curveball coming, I think. That's why he took off. You know, he took a little fake uh, uh, jump before, but you know what? Why not? That's his first stolen base. If you know that curveball's coming, a lot of times he will throw it down and in the dirt. So Cabrera just took off, and it, he picked the right pitch to run on. It's his first stolen base of the year. Cabrera takes off, and he steals third well, unmolested. He wasn't paying attention to him. He took his eye off him and didn't even pay attention. So, you know, I know he's worried about the hitter, and Cabrera knows it because the infielders are back. But watch him. He just took off. He had about a six or seven step lead and the McAllister never looked back again. Bummer goes from second, pitches high. It's off the glove of McCann and now Condelario goes from first to second. So Cabrera stole that off of Giolito who wasn't paying any attention to him. And the Tigers get two bases. Cabrera on his way to third. The throw into left field. Cabrera's got a stolen base, and he's going to score. Look at, him. Look at him. That's going to make his night in every highlight show in baseball. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Cabrera just steals second base, walking down there as Workman paid no attention to him. Bad hip, bad abdomen and all. Watch this. Like a stroll in the park. 